for you guys. This is Make Dollars and Cents. And today we're going to talk about the stock market crash of 2020. So I'd like to start by stating the fact that markets run in cycles. As you can see in this chart here, we don't know exactly when the market will rise or fall on any given day, but we can take advantage of the latter when it does occur, like it is right now. Nobody knows what's going to happen for sure, but uh, every once in a while, you get an opportunity like this to buy stocks anywhere from 25 to 50 50% 50 on sale. And some businesses like cruise lines and casinos are trading at 80% less than their recent highs. So you can see here, uh, this will load. Carnival Cruise is trading 82% less. And that's because you know they're getting slammed, the, the whole industry is shutting down. They're not, they're not taking on any new passengers because of this pandemic. So we, we kind of mentioned this in our blog post that we said that it would probably be a good idea to hold more cash than usual back in December. Uh, we say that by positioning defensively, meaning holding more cash, we will not reap the full benefits if the stock market continues to go up. That's just true. It's a fact. We're not fully invested. However, we continue to go on to say that if the markets go down, we will have a larger cash pool to buy when they're cheaper. And again, that's just a fact. As you know, you want to sell stocks when they're high and you want to buy them when they're low, like they, they are relatively right now. So the stock market generally takes the escalator up and the elevator down. And it's, this is textbook escalator up, elevator down right here. And you can see in this heat map, uh, over the past month or so, stocks have just been absolutely crushed recently for a few exceptions that we'll mention in view in an upcoming video. So the next question is, where are we going from here? <laughs> you know, do we get, is the next 20% down or is the next 20% up? Nobody knows for sure. But like I said, what we do know is that generally when stocks fall this much, it's a good idea to start buying in. Like I said, we might go down another 20%. So if you can't bear that type of move, you shouldn't be investing at all. But if you can and you're willing to take put money at risk, um, the possibility of long-term gains here is you know, higher. The probability to make money from here is higher than it was from up here. Um, you'd be in the same boat as me. I think that here is a good time to start scaling in. And even if we do start coming down and testing S&P 500, 2000, 1800, um, you have more cash on hand. To, uh, to keep buying in as it continues to go down. You know, never put all of your cash and never ever invest more than you can conceivably afford to lose. You know, have a rock solid foundation, an emergency fund, um, spend less than you make first and foremost and, and invest the rest. I am gonna mention that nothing here is financial advice or affiliated with any financial company. It's not a solicitation to buy or sell. Uh, I have a disclaimer on my website here, so please do check that out. To comment further on stocks, I'd say in general, take a look at the businesses that have been you know, crushed by this pandemic ordeal. You can see the banks are getting smoked because the Federal Reserve dropped interest rates. Um, they try, the Fed was dropped the rates. They're trying to spur some market rebound, which, which epically failed, obviously. So you can also see in the political arena, um, this gridlock, you can't seem to come to an agreement. The Democrats are fighting with the Republicans as per usual, so this isn't really a good sign, but I'm sure that both politically and in the private sector, we will see some people come together to overcome this thing. I think that humanity will prevail. So let me know if you're going to be buying stocks here. Leave a comment below if you're going to pull the trigger on anything. I think there are some bargain deals right now. You're seeing, like I said, casinos getting crushed. I mean, I don't think they're going out of business, but we'll see. We'll see soon, I guess. Uh, I got Carnival, like I showed you before, uh, down 82% from their highs back in, what was that, January 18th? Yeah, trading at 72, now they're at 12. I think they cut their dividend down, so their dividend yield's not actually 16, but we'll see. American Airlines also got crushed. So yeah, there are some deals out there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. I learned something here. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. I do hope to be posting here regularly from now on. So, uh, yeah, check out the website if you're into makedollarsandcents.com, if you're into more written content, uh, that sort of thing. And thanks. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.